Hey, what's up guys? Master Shiny here, coming back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're going to be talking about the specific best cases I believe you should be picking up inside of CS2 to get the best investment. Now, obviously, with something like this, I have my own investments. You can always find that down in the description, so let's hop on into it. The first thing we got to talk about are the important factors we want to look for in a case. If we want to pick a case willy-nilly, we can go do that off the market, but the thing is, we want a case that has the important fundamentals we look for when we're looking for a case to succeed. Now, something like this, there's a lot of factors that play into it. The first one of which I personally look for is the demand the case has. You can always find the case unboxing numbers on the CSGO market forum and it's very important. We're going to talk about the rest after a quick word from our sponsor MarketCSGO. The sponsor for today's video is MarketCSGO.com. They're a peer-to-peer -peer CSGO marketplace. They've currently got over 100,000 daily trades and they've got a brand new slick design to help you find those skins. They've got a couple very useful features and it's super easy to list your skins. All you you have to do is go ahead get their market app client which is going to prevent you from getting scammed and then you can go ahead and list your skins very easily and if you're looking to buy skins on the site they've got tons of different deposit options and if you want to take out that money you just got by selling your skins they've also got a ton of different withdrawal options you can use and running right now on the website they've got an exclusive 30 knife giveaway all you have to do to join is click that top link in the description and get started today elaborating a little bit more on those unboxing numbers this is how we were able to see that there was 30 million cases unboxed in February, giving a lot of pressure onto the overall case market moving forward, which is why potentially buying in is not a terrible idea. The other two factors we're going to be talking about, the first of which is ROI. This is not something everyone puts a lot of pressure on, but it's something that just a couple big people shouted out like Anomaly and everyone's flocking to it. The last one is something we haven't mentioned before, but it's something that has become increasingly valuable, and that's the actual things inside of the case, which we're going to elaborate on in just a little bit. Now talking about which cases to pick up, I think the first area you gotta look at for a decent amount of time is going to be those cheap cases. Cheap cases are the most valuable way to go when we're trying to invest because of the potential for such easy ROI gains. The thing is, it takes a 50 cent case to a dollar to get 100% profit, but if we're talking about a case that's five dollars, it's gotta go to ten dollars. It's not very feasible for that other case, so we try to focus in on those cheaper cases, specifically looking at rough a dollar or less is usually what I look at. These cases offer most likely the biggest potential for a very large gain. Now in this area, you do need to be a little bit careful. Personally, I like to avoid those active duty cases, at least at this time, because they're a little bit more risky. Even though they are definitely on an uptrend for most of them, doesn't necessarily mean that uptrend is going to continue and it's just generally speaking holding a little bit more risk than the other cases. However, if we want to buy the specific best case out there, at least in my opinion, at this time, we do need to combine everything together, those important factors along with the cheap cases, to come up with a group of specifically what I would probably look into. Now, the factor we didn't really elaborate too much on earlier is the knives inside of them. If we want to look at Doppler finishes, Doppler finishes are up significantly more than what people expected. But the biggest thing is people tend to overestimate their odds of getting a very expensive skin. The Sapphire and the Ruby finishes have always been very valuable for a case to have, not because the actual value they hold, but because people think they're actually getting a shot at getting these knives. And if we want to look at the odds of getting something like this, it is extremely low. There's many series out there of people trying to get these knives and they continually cannot do so. But this brings a lot of people to look into opening up these cases. And that's very good because we want people to be opening up our cases and we want people to have a constant reason for them to open up our cases, which leads us to a couple big ones. Taking everything we have talked about so far, we come up with four cases that are under a dollar but yet have those very valuable finishes that I believe you should probably look into. Those are going to be your Prisma 1, your Prisma 2. Both of these are not necessarily the most desirable knives, however, they still have that Doppler finish and they're ones that are relatively decent. The other two are going to be the Horizon and the Danger Zone. Now, wait a second, you're probably thinking to yourself, the Horizon and the Danger Zone case don't actually have a Doppler finish inside of them, and that's 100% correct, but what they do have is the second most desirable finish with this brand new update, and that's the fade finish. A lot of people have been putting heavy emphasis on the fade finish as well. Even though the Doppler has definitely taken the spotlight, the fade is definitely the runner-up and something I definitely expect a lot of people to put a lot more interest into once this Doppler hype dies over. Let's be completely honest, the Dopplers look amazing, but they don't look absolutely perfect, and in my 
my opinion, I think the Fade is definitely a very great alternative for people who are not feeling the Doppler or potentially can't spend that much money. The Doppler finishes are extremely expensive, and although the Fade is definitely not cheap, it's a great alternative for so many different people. Now that we talked about the things you should potentially be looking for, we gotta go over the obvious, which is what to avoid at this current state. The biggest thing I want to say is avoid those expensive cases. They're not going to give you an ROI you want, and I'll be honest, no one's spending $30, $35 to unbox these expensive cases, and the unboxing numbers specifically show that these cases are just, relatively speaking, a dead end. It's not going to get you the ROI you want, and I'll be completely honest, I don't really even own most of these because they are just not the greatest investment, and I highly suggest you find something else to put your money into. The other thing that you could potentially avoid or might pick up is the active duty cases. Now, these ones for me are a very mixed bag. I definitely see the potential with active duty cases, but that's not the specific way I want to invest. At this point, most of the active duty cases are already extremely expensive. Why would I go with a case that makes up 99% of the total drops in CSGO at this current moment when I could go with a case that makes up the other 1% of the cases that drop in CSGO? It's not something that I put a whole lot of thought into. I just generally speaking avoid these cases because I believe they hold a little bit more risk than I would want to hold. You can see they are a little bit more volatile, and at pretty much the current price point for all of them, I think there are some really great alternatives that I know are already in the rare pool, which this is just the way I like to invest. I can definitely appreciate if you want to go the other way, though. The last big group of cases I have not mentioned is for a pretty good reason, and that's the discontinued cases. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the discontinued cases. The problem is they're all extremely expensive. Talk about the Riptide case, which I love moving forward. I've got only a hundred of them, but it's extremely expensive. At over $3 a piece, I can't justify having anyone invest into it at its current moment, in my opinion. We've mentioned cheap cases all along the way, and this is over seven times one of those cheap cases. And therefore, I think you got to be able to find some much better alternatives. I love the discontinued cases moving forward. The problem is they're so expensive already. And one of the questions that's going to come up is what specifically would I invest into? Now, I got to make it clear, please don't invest into something because I'm specifically telling you to. I'm not telling you. I'm giving you areas that you could potentially look into and areas I suggest you potentially start your search in. That's very important. I'm not telling you to invest into these cases, but if I were to specifically invest into any case, I would probably focus in on the four we mentioned earlier, being the Prisma 1, the Prisma 2, the Danger Zone, and the Horizon. These cases are a good combination of being cheap enough, but also having the desirability factor that's going to keep people unboxing the cases in the future. Obviously, if you don't like these cases, you don't have to invest in I highly suggest you do not invest if you don't like them, but that is pretty much all I have for today, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I do hope you have a great rest of your day.